Omerda, Italian pronunciation, Omer, modifier letter vertical line, ta, is a southern Italian code of silence and code of honor that places importance on silence in the face of questioning by authorities or outsiders, non-cooperation with authorities, the government, or outsiders, and willfully ignoring and generally avoiding interference with the illegal activities of others, i.e., not contacting law enforcement or the authorities when one is aware of witness to, or even the victim of certain crimes. It originated and remains common in southern Italy, where banditry or brigandage and mafia-type criminal organizations, like the Camorra, Cosa Nostra, Drangana and Sacra Corona Unita have long been strong. Similar codes are also deeply rooted in other areas of the Mediterranean, including rural Spain, Crete, Greece, and Corsica, all of which share a common or similar historic culture with southern Italy. It also exists, to a lesser extent, in certain Italian-American neighborhoods, especially in neighborhoods where the Italian-American mafia has strong influence, as well as in Italian ethnic enclaves in countries such as Germany, Canada, and Australia, where Italian organized crime exists. Similar codes of silence have been observed in Jewish-American, Greek-American, Albanian-American, Russian-American, Japanese-American, Korean-American, Chinese-American, African-American, Hispanic-American, Armenian-American, German-American, and Irish-American neighborhoods, as well as among some bikers. Retaliation against informers is common in criminal circles, where informers are known as rats or snitches. Code The Oxford English Dictionary traces the word to the Spanish word hombre dad, meaning manliness, modified after the Sicilian word lomu, man. According to a different theory, the word comes from Latin humilitas, humility, which became humirda and then finally omerta in some southern Italian dialects. The first anti-mafia commission of the Italian parliament in the 1970s accepted the origin based on Omu on the authority of Antonio Carrera, with no reference to Spanish. The basic principle of Omerda is that it is not manly to seek aid from legally constituted authorities to settle personal grievances. The suspicion of being a Cusatuni, an informant, constitutes the blackest mark against manhood, according to Catrera. An individual who has been wronged is obligated to look out for his own interests by avenging that wrong himself or finding a patron but not the state to do the job. Omerda implies the categorical prohibition of cooperation with state authorities or reliance on its services, even when one has been victim of a crime. A person should absolutely avoid interfering in the business of others and should not inform the authorities of a crime under any circumstances, but if it is justified, he may personally avenge a physical attack on himself or on his family by vendetta, literally a taking of revenge, a feud. Even if somebody is convicted of a crime that he has not committed, he is supposed to serve the sentence without giving the police any information about the real criminal, even if the criminal has nothing to do with the mafia. Within mafia culture, Breaking Omerta is punishable by death. Omerta is an extreme form of loyalty and solidarity in the face of authority. One of its absolute tenets is that it is deeply demeaning and shameful to betray even one deadliest enemy to the authorities. For that reason, many mafia-related crimes go unsolved. Observers of the Mafia debate whether Omerta should best be understood as an expression of social consensus for the Mafia or whether it is instead a pragmatic response based primarily on fear, as implied by a popular Sicilian proverb C.U.E. Graf Serdu, or by Itasi, Campesentene, Maposi, he who is deaf, blind and silent will live a hundred years in peace. It has also been described as follows. Whoever appeals to the law against his fellow man is either a fool or a coward. Whoever cannot take care of himself without police protection is both. It is as cowardly to betray an offender to justice, even though his offenses be against yourself, as it is not to avenge an injury by violence. It is dastardly and contemptible in a wounded man to betray the name of his assailant, because if he recovers, he must naturally expect to take vengeance himself. History Omerta is a code of silence, 
According to one of the first Mafia researchers Antonio Cotrera, a former officer of public security, it seals lips of men even in their own defense and even when the accused is innocent of charged crimes. Cutrera quoted a native saying which was first uttered, as goes the legend, by a wounded man to his assailant, If I live, I'll kill you. If I die, I forgive you. Sicilians adopted the code long before the emergence of Cosa Nostra, and it may have been heavily influenced by centuries of state oppression and foreign colonization. It has been observed at least as far back as the 16th century as a way of opposing Spanish rule. The Italian American mafioso Joe Valici famously broke the Omerta Code in 1963 when he publicly spoke out about the existence of the mafia and testified before a U.S. Senate committee. He became the first in the modern history of the Italian American mafia to break his blood oath. In Sicily, the phenomenon of Pentito, Italian he who has repented, broke Omerda. Among the most famous mafia pentiti is Tommaso Busetta, the first important witness in Italy, who both helped prosecutor Giovanni Falcone to understand the inner workings of Cosa Nostra and described the Sicilian Mafia Commission or Cupola, the leadership of the Sicilian Mafia. A predecessor, Leonardo Vitali who gave himself up to the police in 1973, was judgmentally ill and so his testimony led to the conviction of only himself and his uncle. In sport Omerta is widely reported in sport in relation to use of prohibited substances by athletes. The Cycling Independent Reform Commission report of 2015 contains the word Omerda no fewer than 17 times, and stated, a former director of Sportif described Omerda as a system in which riders were open among themselves about doping, and Omerda operated externally so doping was not spoken about in public. An academic paper highlighted that those who broke the code of silence within cycling were ostracized and sometimes pushed out of the sport because they were not willing to support or join in with doping. Any rider who did speak out about doping could find himself informally sanctioned by the rest of the peloton. In popular culture Mario Puzo wrote novels based on the principles of Omerta and the Cosa Nostra. His best-known works in that vein are the trilogy The Godfather, The Sicilian, and Omerda. The final book of the series, Omerda, was finished before his death but published posthumously in 2000 from his manuscript. See also Notes Explanatory footnotes References